Hey guys, Shane here, Ozflight Simmer. Welcome to another test drive video. Now, if you haven't seen one of these before, this is where we take a utility, a scenery, or an aircraft from different types of simulators, and I'll take it for a spin around the block and give you my first impressions and my recommendations is it value for money. Today we're in the lovely Greek island of Skathos and we are in X-Plane 11 and we are checking our Aerobasque's Diamond DA-62. Now before we get started today, I wanted to give a quick shout out to a good mate of mine, Brett. Now Brett has a Twitch aviation flight simulator channel called Brett Ascend or aka Grandpa. I will leave a link in the description below. Uh, Brett usually streams about five or six days a week in Australian time. Uh, Brett flies all different flight simulators such as X-Plane 11 and P3D, um, all different types of aircraft and different locations in the world. So I spend a lot of time in there, has a great community, I'm usually there about three to four times a week. So if you want to come and hang out with me in a great community, I'll leave a, a link in the description below. So in today's video, due to it being Easter time, I thought I'd leave a little Easter egg uh, for you today for the viewers. So uh, during the video, you'll see a little snippet or a clip of Brett's stream. All you need to do is grab the time that that appears um, in this video and go into the link below and you can answer the question. Um, all the correct answers will go into a draw to win a $25 euros worth from the sim market. And we'll draw that on Thursday the 5th um, on one of Brett's streams. So make sure you have a look for the snippets and um, enter the comp. You might win 25 euros and I wish you a happy Easter if you celebrate it. And let's get into the first look of the DA-62. From the external part of the 62 from Aerobass, the first thing I noticed is the highest of quality of 3D modeling. They have done a phenomenal job when it comes to all the fine details, everything has been included. And also in conjunction with that, the, the use of 4K high res textures with the PBR technology that is in X-Plane. They have also included 10 different liveries and I'm going to show them all here as we take a walk around the aircraft and I really love the metallic shine on some of these liveries. Really, really stands out. Having all this detail, you may think it might take a little bit of hit and frames, but the guys have done a great job with the optimization to save the uh, FPS. I only found when I decided to use the 62 in a VR mode that I had to change the settings just a little bit to keep the frames up. Other than that, um, when I'm not using VR, I didn't see a frame hit whatsoever. The 62 also comes with a really easy to use configuration manager for the aircraft. Cool thing is that it is hidden away um, from the viewpoint. Here and here I can change um, my passenger loadout, my luggage loadout, my fuel loadout. Also I can change some sounds such as oxygen sound and even update my O2 levels. I also have the options to open and close all my um, doors and compartments. So really easy to use and a great way to get your aircraft configured and are ready to get in the air straight away. So we've made it to the cockpit of the 62. We're gonna do a really quick uh, start up here. So hopefully I've got the sound levels turned up so you can hear the awesome customer sounds uh, in this aircraft. The 62 comes with a fully functional virtual 3D copy, as you can see, with smooth and VR-friendly manipulators. And I did find that. I did know I had to adjust the um, settings down a little bit for VR, but it was a very smooth. Windshield effects are included, such as reflection, rain, and frost. Oxygen systems are simulated. Also, ice protection systems are simulated. And as you can see right in front of us, the Laminar Garmin G1000 has been included as well. I really enjoy the aircraft that Aerobus picked to um, develop as they are really easy to get up and going at GA aircraft. So right engine is switched on there. As you can see, I did that in minutes. And we'll flick the left one on as well. And there we go. We'll quickly take an outside view so you can hear the engines, then we'll get on our way. So 
So we're all configured for taxi. It's going to be a pretty quick uh, taxi down to the runway today. Um, but it's some interesting uh, information being such a new aircraft that um, the DA62 uh, costs around over $1 million uh, US. They've been in production since 2015, so they've made about 25 um, plus, probably more than that now. Um, some interesting things that the ceiling level of this aircraft is 20,000, um, and that's why you've got oxygen systems um, in the aircraft and cruising speeds around about 325 kilometers per hour if you're in my neck of the woods or 202 miles per hour it is a six-seater aircraft so you can fit plenty of friends and family in there but um, only needs um, one pilot to fly um, the 62 is a really easy to taxi I do notice with the front gear um, it's very springy there as you can see I just pounded the uh, front brake um, and again but um, it's quite easy um, it doesn't get away with you or anything like that a very um, realistic aircraft to be taxiing around so we're just to pull up here and we'll get ready for takeoff Okay, so we're all configured and are ready for takeoff. Um, hopefully this aircraft that just landed is able to vacate the runway. Um, I'm going to be quiet now, so please enjoy the sounds and the takeoff. And I'll come back to you shortly, just after we've um, put the, uh, the gears up. Talk to you soon. Just about to put the gears up, that was a no flaps takeoff at 85 knots. Um, we're going to make a left hand turn here, going to go up to about 5,000 feet, put the autopilot on, and I'll show you around the cabin. So I'll come back to you when we're at cruise. So we're going to take a really quick uh, look around the cockpit of the DA-62. One thing I like about this aircraft is everything that is modelled actually works. As you can see here, I'm adjusting the pedals um, to go back if I was a little bit shorter, which is really cool. Uh, the attention to detail um, for all the finishing, such as the stitching um, and the texturing around the aircraft is absolutely uh, phenomenal leather looks like leather actually it looks like leather better than real life I should say um, I love the little details of like the um, the love marks on the seat there um, you know you can see that someone's been sitting in the uh, aircraft and with all these detail frames are uh, really 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 good so um, it's an aircraft that you can sit and have a look around on and I tell you what it looks phenomenal in a VR and also at night time in VR as well. So I'm going to fly around the Greek islands a little bit. Um, I'll come back to you at dusk as we're approaching so you can see the night lighting. Welcome. 
welcome back. We are on approach into Skathos, uh, just the, the same airport where we actually took off from. So I really enjoyed the flight in the 62 today. One of my favorite things is just the flight characteristics. As you can see, um, when I'm rolling left to right here, it just doesn't overroll. It, um, it moves really, really well. It's such a um, really cool aircraft to um, hand fly and in a VR hand flying is insane so the night lighting of the aircraft is a really good as well and I had a and again if I speak VR I had a bit of a wow moment um, in this aircraft with the night lighting um, was awesome I'll come back to you shortly as we're a little bit closer into the approach of Skathos And we are definitely on a short final. I'll come back to you as we touch down and give you my final thoughts of the DA-62 from Aerobasque. So please enjoy the landing. That was a full flaps uh, landing and as you can see once you've got the aircraft trimmed um, it is a really uh, stable aircraft to land. Ooh, made the brakes a little bit hot there as we vacate uh, from the runway but um, why don't we take a look at the replay. So my final thoughts on the DA-62 from Aerobus for X-Plane 11, is it value for money? Well the external aircraft is very uh, highly uh, detailed um, and the night lighting is exceptional. The flight dynamics aircraft is true to life to the aircraft and I really enjoy all the systems um, that have been modelled in the aircraft too. So for a price of $34.95 US from the X-Plane store, I think it's a very, a very value for money and I would highly recommend uh, this product if you are looking for something that is in a um, highly advanced sort of GA aircraft. So we've been saying that. Thank you very much for watching. I'm hoping you found your Easter egg in the video and um, I'll talk to you a little bit later during the week in the um, Bredesan stream and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.